Hey, 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 what's up and how's it going, MRBers? I'm so glad that you have took your time to watch this video right here, right now, on the MRB Wrestling Review Show. I'm your co-host, Mike McRock Wilson, and right now I'm going to give you my predictions of WWE's pay-per-view event this Sunday, TLC. <laughs> Alright, so the first match at TLC is a kickoff match between Dolph Ziggler and Fandango. And this just feels like a match that the WWE has thrown in on the kickoff show uh, with no momentum going into a kickoff match, much less a pay-per-view. So with that being said, you know, putting in the factor of both Dolph Ziggler and Fandango suffering concussions in the past, they have lost a lot of momentum. So, that's why it feels like these two superstars have been thrown in into a one-on-one -on -one match. And there's not much ex excitement going in. So, with all that into play, I think the winner of this match will be Dolph Ziggler. Going into the pay-per-view TLC event itself, the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line when Biggie Langston defends his title against Damian Sandow. And I think it's too soon for Biggie Langston to lose the Intercontinental Championship. And in, in the same time, you don't want Damian Sandow to lose any more momentum than he already has. Because he cashed in on John Cena and came up short in this WWE Championship match. You know, he's still hanging in there. So, what the WWE should do is have Damian Sandow win by disqualification or countout and have more momentum and have Biggie Langston retain the title. And as long as they put a story that in this as well, it really could benefit both Damian Sandow and Biggie Langston in the Intercontinental Championship as well. It would bring back prestige to the championship. And that's what needs to happen with the secondary championships in the WWE. It has to be important, putting into storylines. And why not do that with Damian Sandow and Dolph Ziggler when Damian Sandow wins the match by countout or something like that? And uh, that will give them a storyline to work for and to have a play out for a couple of months, maybe for WrestleMania or the Elimination Chamber. So we'll see what happens this Sunday at TLC when it comes to the Intercontinental Championship picture. Also, the Divas Championship will be on the line when AJ Lee defends the championship against Natalya. And the same thing kind of applies to the Divas Championship like the Intercontinental Championship as well. You don't want Natalya to win and just go nowhere with the championship. You want the championship, the Divas Championship, put into good use and put it in a storyline that could both benefit AJ Lee and Natalya. I think, in my opinion, AJ Lee will retain the championship because she is the face of the Divas division, but I won't mind. If Natalia does win this match, I think Natalia is a very underrated wrestler in the Divas division, and why not have Natalia win this match? And um, as long as they put on a good Divas match, have the WWE give them time to put on a good wrestling match and, and tell a good story, I'll be very happy. And that's the outcome, I hope. Uh, that happens when it comes to the Divas Championship match. And with that being said, the winner is not so much because you want the Divas Championship to feel important. And why not do that? By telling the story between two Divas going at it where something shady happens. Some sort of shenanigans ensue. Maybe um, uh, uh, Tamina costs Natalia the match. AJ Lee hits the tell you with the Divas Championship and the rivalry continues. That's what I hope after TLC with the Divas Championship. The rivalry continues. Make it important. That's what I hope when it comes to both the Intercontinental Championship 
and the Divas Championship match. Now, there are two three-on-one handicap matches at TLC. One of them is CM Punk versus The Shield. And because the WWE has been planting seeds and foreshadowing a Shield split up, I could see something happening again. I could see a situation where Roman Reigns is doing all the work on CM Punk, and CM Punk is fighting a, a hell of a fight against the Shield, trying to overcome the odds, but comes up short. I see Roman Reigns hitting the spear and doing all the work on CM Punk, and then uh, Dean Ambrose blind tags Roman Reigns, comes in, goes for the pin, and Roman Reigns looks at him and said, I had him! What are you doing? I had this match! You come in and sneak in and you got the pin. I don't like that. So, you know, something like that, I would like to see happen because of what the WWE has been doing with the Shield, uh, planting all these seeds of doubt into this possible split up of the Shield. Even though uh, the split up to the fullest, I don't think should happen at TLC. It should be a bigger seed of planted but not for the full tree to grow. It should grow at least a half away, and at Royal Rumble, let's just go all out with it in the Royal Rumble match. So with that being said, I see The Shield winning this match. And another reason why I see The Shield winning this match is because CM Punk has won uh, in the last two pay-per-views. So just to keep the bounce going, have him lose a match and have The Shield go over. Also, we will see Daniel Bryan take on the Wyatt family in a 3-on-1 handicap match. And I think that the WWE should not bury either Daniel Bryan or the Wyatt family. The logical thing to do in this match is to have Daniel Bryan uh, pin or submit either Luke Harper or Eric Rowan. And then after the match, Bray Wyatt gets the last word and takes out Daniel Bryan with his sister Abigail. That's what I think should happen at TLC, so it could be, so it would be a win-win situation where you have Daniel Bryan go over and you have the Wyatt family get the last word on Daniel Bryan, so it's not burying anyone in that match. That would be the smart thing to do on the part of WWE, in my opinion. And the main event will be the unification World Heavyweight Champion versus WWE Champion in a tables, ladders, and chairs match. John Cena, the World Heavyweight Champion, and the WWE Champion, Randy Orton. I could see it happen already. John Cena grabs the WWE Championship. Randy Orton grabs the World Heavyweight Championship. I think that the WWE will... Uh, have that happen. I think that's what the WWE will do. And even though I don't agree with that, I think there should be one winner. I just hope that WWE gives this match to Randy Orton because John Cena always gets the better in almost re every Randy Orton match he's in. Case in point, the I Quit match. He goes over. And you won't hear John Cena say the words, I quit, either. You just won't. He's super Cena. Yeah, I'm rolling my eyes for good reason. And I think a lot of people might agree with me as well. Of the whole super Cena thing. You know, of course, it's super Cena. He's going to win this match. He's the guy the face of the company that will probably win this match anyway if they don't have the tie uh, as a result of the match. That's what I think the WWE will probably do. It's either have one or two things happen. Have John Cena win this match. He holds up both championships. Or they'll have John Cena grab the WWE title and Orton grabbing the World Heavyweight Championship thus having a tie, but I, in, in my opinion, the WWE should give this match to Randy Orton. Have him actually win a legitimate main event against John Cena. That's what I think should happen. What do you think should happen at TLC? Comment below and let me know. And to all you MRBers watching, get plenty of rest and always do your best.